Hi, I'm Andrew at Baker's Gas. I'm here today with the all new Sprinter 180 SI. So in this video today, we, we did an in, introductory video to this. We'll link that down below. Uh, but today we're gonna actually, we're gonna weld with this unit. So we're gonna, we're gonna run 7018, 6010, and then we're also gonna TIG weld with this. Um, I got the TIG set up, I got my foot pedal. So this thing, as you might not even know, it has high freak start and lift arc start on the TIG function. Um, so just a little bit of background on this unit, 100% uh, duty cycle at 100 amps on 230. So this thing does 110, 230, comes with the adapter cord. Um, it's got 100% duty cycle at 70 amps on 110. So pretty decent output for just a small package unit. I mean, very, very tiny unit, very super light. Comes with your stick electrode, your ground cable, and then obviously you can add on the TIG kit with the foot pedal and everything that you need for that. Um, I'll fire up this unit here and we'll turn it on. I got my gas hooked up, my argon gas. It has a solenoid in the back, so it's a through the port DIN connection for your TIG torch. I'll turn it on here. You can see on the front of the machine here, on this side we got our mode selector and then we have our pulse settings here. So on TIG, we'll go, that's our 7018 setting. Or 6010, so this has a you can change it to 6010, it has two different modes for that. It won't run 6010 on the 7018 setting, but it runs it on the 6010. It has lift arc, and then we also have a high freak start. Um, and it's not showing up because I don't have my foot pedal hooked up, but I'll, I'll do that. So, on the on this unit though, after we hook this up, it recognizes that you got a foot pedal hooked on and it actually won't let you go back to stick mode until you change out your, pull that foot pedal off. And I'll show you, there we go, now we go to high freak start because we got our foot pedal hooked up. Now if I hit the pulsing mode, it says off. But as soon as you turn that, now you can go, you know, one pulse per second, or you can go all the way up, I'll turn it all the way up here, to 100 pulses per second. And this little light blinks giving you a depiction of what that looks like as far as 100 pulses per second. Let's come down. 12. Oh, we got down to 10. So it's kind of it changes with the blingy when you change how many pulses. You turn that off. There we go. Now we're now we're turned on. We're at 100 amps. We're gonna turn it back on just to adjust it. Turn it off. So basically, we can toggle through there. But like I said, when that foot pedal hooked up, it only lets you go between the two. Let's give this thing a shot. I'm gonna try it on 7018 right now. Um, just let it run. I got some uh, Excalibur rod, and then I got some red brick rod 6010 that we're gonna try as well. Um, let me get suited up and give it a shot. All right, so I got some 7018 here. We're gonna run it at 120 amps. We're on our 7018 setting. Let's give this thing a shot here. Very consistent arc, pretty nice. I mean, pretty crisp too on that. I, I, I like it. It was nice. That was a good one. Uh, all right, let's try the 6010 here. We'll change it down. Now I got three, three second 6010, so we're going to come down. Let's try, try 65 amps. Might be a little bit warmer for that, but it will try. Very, very nice. Dug the entire time. Super crisp. 
I mean, it ran that 60 temp really, really well. That, that's, that was um, about the perfect setting on that smaller rod, too. Super nice. I ooh, put the chip and hammer here and I'll chip it off. And then we're going to try, we're going to sit up here for TIG. Um, I got my TIG torch all raised up, so we're going to give it a shot on the high freak, see how it welds, and then I'll turn on the pulser, too. Try that out. All right, so we got our TIG panel hooked up. We got it on high freak. I'm going to give it... I'm going to try 100 amps on there. We got some 14 gauge. It might be a little bit too hot, but we'll throttle it back with the foot pedal here. Give it a shot. Yeah, very constant. I mean, super nice well, pretty good. The high freak works good. Let's just turn on the pulser real quick. And we'll see what we can do with that. I'll turn it on. I'm just gonna try two pulses per second. See how my light's blinking? So that's what's showing me how many pulses per second we're gonna get. Let's try that and we'll give it a shot. Definitely pulsing. Works really, really well. I mean, that's impressive on a little tiny machine like that. I mean, it really does well. It's really nice, constant. I mean, arc stream, no, no gutter and nothing. I mean, and I like the torch. It's light. Super nice. Air cool. Um, they come with a big kit, so you come with a gas lines, multiple nozzles, 16, 332, 8 inch tungsten. So they got all the consumables for that, too. Um, awesome little torch. And that, that's a nice little machine all around. Super. Portable. I mean, you can do a lot of things. I would see these big in the contractor world for, um, you know, up on a man lift or something like that. You got a stick weld something, plug it into 110, you got enough to do your job up in the air. And, but this was part one of our video, so we welded with it, ran good. So in our next video, we're going to do some durability testing on this unit. Uh, put, it, put it through its paces and see how it holds up, and then we'll try and weld with it after we do that. Um, so stay tuned. If you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again. Stay tuned for more.